Hey, how are you guys? Let's see how to install uh, Setup Nginx, PHP, MySQL and FTP under Ubuntu. As a first uh, measure, let's try to upgrade our system. So we type sudo apt update and afterwards we'll do sudo apt dist upgrade. So this will install all the needed uh, security patches and libraries which are currently um, released in the repositories. So if there is something new, we'll be notified. So we see there are 37 uh, packages which we can upgrade and uh, we'll just uh, run this process. Okay, right now we have the latest libraries. So let's install OpenSSH server. We'll just type sudo apt install open ssh server uh, we say yes and on additional packages we would like to be installed together with uh, this package and afterwards we can just start our ssh server so we just type sudo system control start ssh daemon now, if we check our IP address, we'll type if config, and we see our local running network interfaces. So we see that we have internal IP address of 10.0.2.15. So we can uh, try to access our local SSH server using this address. So we'll just type SSH and the address 10.0.2.15 and we see that uh, we are required to provide SSH uh, key um, and we will say and start exchanging information we will say yes this host we are connecting to is added to our known hosts uh, right now we are logging as uh, the user uh, to this host uh, the current user uh, we are using on our terminal system so we'll just provide the password we have and uh, as we see we are inside of our system uh, connected as our user and we can uh, access the system at least the directories and everything else this is needed in order afterwards to be able to access uh, directly the hosts we are configuring right now Okay, we are exiting uh, from the SSH connection and we are returning to the same host. So next we'll install an Nginx server. We'll just type sudo apt install nginx. Alright, uh, it's installed as we can see uh, with the FTP and with the nginx. If we have firewall, which is universal firewall uh, here for Ubuntu, um, all those uh, servers are opening uh, their ports, so they are automatically configuring the universal firewall. And uh, that's very nice. We don't need to open additional ports for them. If we open up our browser and point to the local host, we can see that the web server is working and serving static um, default HTML page. Afterwards, we will look at this file, nginx.conf and uh, we'll take a look uh, at the current user which is executing the files and it's uh, uh, www.data now install the mysql server so type sudo apt install mysql server all right now it's time to secure the mysql installation so we'll just type sudo mysql secure installation this will automatically set up uh, default permissions for the databases and remove certain users and restrict uh, access to some of them. Yeah, we can uh, use a validation plugin for our passwords, etc. etc. And here we are setting up uh, the password for our root account in the MySQL. So we are typing the password. We can un remove anonymous uh, users. 
This is our access from remote connections towards this uh, MySQL local server. We can remove the test database and uh, all those changes need to reload the default tables uh, stored in MySQL in order to those changes to be ready. Okay, now we will connect to our MySQL server. So we'll just type sudo mysql. All right, we are inside of uh, the default databases we have and uh, we can show the databases actually. We have information schema, mysql performance schema and sys. Let's check for our root user what uh, kind of uh, authentication we uh, have inside of our system. So we'll just type select user and then plugin and then host from mysql.user and we'll see that we are not connecting with a password to the root account but with the authentication socket. So we'll change this. We'll just type alter user which is our root user and uh, it's within the local host. identified with MySQL native password by password. All right, so this will give uh, this type of authentication uh, to our root. So when we select again uh, the table, we'll see that we can connect uh, towards this user um, via password. For this to become effective, we have to flush our privileges. Now we can exit. Now we can try to connect to our MySQL server. So just type MySQL minus user root and minus P to ask us for a password. We enter exactly password as a string and we are inside of our MySQL client. And actually we can show the databases. And we see that there. So we exit the server and we can actually check if uh, um, the server is running by uh, typing system control status mysql.service. And we see it's running and active. Okay, let's now set up um, an FTP server. So we'll just type sudo up to install vs ftp d after the installation has finished we'll configure the server so we can use it for accessing our files so we'll just go into the configuration and start editing vs ftp d configuration inside of this file we'll change uh, server or strings write enable this will allow us to upload files to our FTP server this local you mask will fix uh, several problems we have when we are uploading uh, files with different permissions on how they will be stored in our local directories and the last thing to do is uh, within this configuration um, to add a local directory uh, where we will be serving our files. So we'll just type local root equals to and we'll point to the user share nginx html which is the default directory of nginx. We'll write the file and then we'll restart our server. Okay, so far the FTP server should be functioning. Okay guys, let's now install the PHP language. For this we'll open up our terminal and inside we'll type sudo apt install php fpm and php mysql. This will install both of the libraries and for the nginx, uh, the fast processing library and the library uh, for connection uh, with the uh, MySQL. Okay, we have uh, already installed them. So the next thing uh, we'll check uh, whether in our 
etc php fpm pull daemon and then www configuration will will have a, a certain configuration set and actually we are looking for the user and the group to be set to www uh, data our php is uh, set and now uh, let's install the php in my admin uh, for this we will just type sudo apt install php my admin we will be asked for mysql uh, username and password uh, we'll provide them next thing is to enable uh, php files to be processed uh, for this we'll change our uh, configuration in the sites available default uh, configuration in the nginx so we'll type sudo nano etc nginx sites available uh, default and inside we'll see first that we'll change the server name uh, to be 127.001 or the loopback interface uh, then we have changed uh, the index file to be uh, loading up first uh, php files and uh, also the root to be user share nginx html this directory then for the php files we'll enable fast cj pass uh, parameter and here we'll put version php 7.2 and also we will allow fast cgi to accept parameters so we'll just uh, copy these lines fast cgi param and this is the script file name and then document root and fast cgi script name and also this include fast cgi params and that's it for now we just save this file and uh, afterwards we will need to restart our php server as well as uh, the nginx uh, this will do by typing sudo system control restart and first we'll restart the nginx nginx service and also we will restart php 7.2 fpm service we'll click enter and we'll open up a browser at the same time to see if the changes are uh, done and we can open up uh, php my admin and start working with it we'll load up slash php my admin and here we have welcome php my admin interface for the username we use php my admin and for the password we use the password setup during the installation of php my admin so it will be password here and once we enter um, the credentials, we should be redirected to administration of PHP My Admin. So from here, we can uh, take a look at the different databases uh, as well as the tables. And also, we can execute uh, separate SQL statements. So that's it, guys. We have installed uh, FTP server, Nginx, PHP, MySQL, and now. This is the PHP My Admin front end which we can use. If you enjoyed the tutorial, uh, please subscribe and expect new episodes.